In today's data-driven world, we have data and data tables, and Excel data is quite simply boring. So to represent it in a better way, we have dashboards that can visually represent your data and make it come to life. In today's tutorial, we're going to have a look at the raw data set, convert it to a table, and then find out how to create some smaller mini pivot tables and charts. Then we can finally go through charts and dynamically adapt your data, change your formatting of your table, and dashboard and then of course we need to share this beautiful work with all our colleagues and that's what we're going to learn. The first thing we do is convert this into a table and to do that the shortcut is Control T. As you can see you have a dialog box over here and it asks you if your table has headers. We press OK here and now you see that your data has turned into a table. This will allow it to be dynamically updated when new data appears. So this step is vitally important. The next step that we want to do is create our mini pivot tables on different sheets. It would be better to do it that way so that you can keep a track of all of your data. Now, when we look at our dashboard, we have four different sets of data that we want to pull out from our data table. The first one is a revenue by country. So let's go back to our data and now we're going to insert a pivot table. You do that by insert pivot table and from the data and table range. So we have the table here, press OK. Once we go across here, we can call this dollar revenue by country so that we can keep a track of what tables we are creating. We then take over the country onto the rows. Let's do that. And we can take over the yin, the total dollar value here into the values. Now we have a sum of the complete countries over the total. We also have a breakdown of the departments within this chart. So we need to pull across the department as well. So we take the department and we pull that into the rows. So we have it in a view where you have the departments and you have the countries as well. So here we can have our pivot table and convert this into now a chart. All we do is you go across to the insert tab right here and you can go to recommended charts. So let's click onto the recommended charts and it also gives you a number of different references here. But let's go. We want to change the reference chart a bit. So we have that, but we might want to also change the way that it looks across our dates. So what we do is go back and swap over the columns to the rows department up here and now we can come back and go to insert recommend a chart what looks better there we go now we have a chart with the correct information that we need and there you go so the first thing that we can do is take this chart clean it up if we want to so we don't want to have any of this information on the chart because we are going to put it into our dashboard and all you need to do is a right click on one of the fields and you can click on to hide all field buttons on chart that removes it if you want to keep the legend there you can or you can simply just click it and press delete and that simply moves it away our chart is now ready to be moved across into our dashboard. So you could simply press Control C to copy the chart. And we have our first chart that's available here. Now let's repeat that for the others. Here we have a chart where it's total units sold by year. Once again, we come across to our table and we are going to now insert another pivot table, which is going to be called quantity by year. insert a recommended chart so once again you have a chart here but this time we want to go for a line chart and let's see what we have for that option it's better now to move across the date to the rows 
that way we would be able to have a nicer chart so let's go once again to recommended charts we go across to line and that is exactly what we want once again we press ok we can now get rid of all the field entries and click delete copy pit copy this right here control c go across to the dashboard and simply just paste it over here so that we can get the next chart here now let's go back and have a look we have now a pie chart here the top five departments by revenue once again we find ourselves on the table and again we go to insert pivot table let's go top five departments by revenue and here we are going to add the department and we're going to have the revenue over here total revenue comes here now this time we're going to go just for the top five and the way to do that is to simply click here value field so we go down to the top 10 and here we are simply going to click on five and do we want it by the items we want it yes by the sum of the total of the items correct press ok so we just have five now once again insert recommended chart so let's go this time to a pie chart and let's go to the donut chart over here this is the chart press ok now there are different ways to have a look at the design and the format you go across to design here once you are clicked you can change the different formats if you want to change it to any style that you like over here so i'll leave that for you you can change the colors if you want into something that suits your particular color coding now once we go here let's just go back and change this we can once again delete the fields we don't want those and we can delete those and we want this time if we go across here this time we want to have a look at the little labels that are onto the chart so we go here right click and we're going to add data labels we can add them like that we could also add them as different tables and values you can have a category name on it a series name the value from the cells whatever you want to do so we can even have a legend key if you want but the best way to do this is to add the legend if you want or you can also change the way that it looks data labels data callouts as you want and there we have the white right there once again let's just copy this and move it across to our dashboard right here and finally we go on to the top five items sold by revenue so let's go once again to our table and our data and we go across to insert pivot table from data now this time we have top five items and this is by revenue so once again we put that in there sum of the total and we are going to add the item name this time so again we go to the filter we go value filters and the top 10 now here if you want to add the top 20 the top three the top whatever x number of items you want you could also have this here but we are going to go for the top five press ok and once again we are going to insert a chart Okay, now we go across to insert a recommended chart or we can go straight across to a pie chart there we go we have that and now let's remove all the fields let's clear that and once again we can add data labels here or data callouts whatever you prefer press ctrl c and once again we move this across to our dashboard now we have a simple outline of the dashboard these are not dynamic because they don't have something called slices and filters and this is the next step now to make this dynamic what we need to do is we need to add something called a slicer so we click that we go across to insert 
make sure we've clicked onto our table, insert, and we have a timeline. So the first thing is we want the date sold, press OK. Now we have a slicer right over here. We can change the format, we can make it bigger, we can make it smaller, we can even change the colors and the formats on this. So as we want to make it slightly smaller, we can have that. But instead of months, we are going to change this to years. And this is dynamic, you can change it simply. So if we click on 2021, you can see that the range over here has changed. The second thing we are going to add is the country. So once again, we click onto the chart, go across to insert, and we have a slicer right here. Click onto the country, and we also want the department. So we can click on a number of different values in the slicers instead of coming in one by one. So just press on the country, press on the item name, and now we have two slicers that have come up. So let's go across to the country, and no, we did not want the item name, we did want the department, so we're going to have to do this once again. So let's just click onto that, insert, slicer, and let's go to department. Press OK. We have now the department across here, and we simply can adjust it and put it wherever we like. Now, what you will notice is, let's go and try this out, press 2021 you will see that there is only one chart that's dynamic and everything else is not dynamically responding to this. So let's try it with India and you see you only have that. So the way to do this is to make sure that the slices are linked to all of the charts over here. And the way to do that is you simply go onto any of the slices and so right click and we go to report connections and simply open this and have a look at all the connections that this particular filter is linked to. So we want to check all of the filters that it applies to, press OK. And we now have, let's click on 2021, you can see 2022, you can see that everything is now dynamic. But we need to repeat that on to all of the other slices as well. can simply clear this, get your data back and make sure that we also clear all of the other filters up. That brings your data all back. So once you have done that, you can simply just go and click onto the data and have this report dynamic. Now, once you've completed the layout of your dashboard, you want to do some more visually appealing changes to your dashboard so that it's clean up. Now, one thing we can do is just highlight the columns and clean them up. So we can just right click and hide these so that you don't have any mess towards the right. And you could simply do the same here. So we hold control shift and the down arrow that selects all of the rows, press hide and now we have that. Now we still have the grid lines here. So we once again go across to view and we can just uncheck the grid lines and now it gives you a very nice background. Now we can also add our titles to our tables just to make sure we know what we are looking at. So let's go to chart design chart element and let's go to chart title above title. We can center it as we want. So we are looking at revenue by department and country. So that can be added over here. And let's go across to the page layout tab. And over here you find a number of different things to make your dashboard look even nicer. The one thing you can do is change the theme. So if you have different colors of your themes, you can simply just click onto that and you can see that your fonts get changed and your colors get changed as well. So if you want to save the current theme, you can. You can browse the theme and you can add your own company colors and fonts over here. So you see we have all of the fonts here. You can change any of the fonts that you want here. How to get a background, you simply go across to background and let's add an element from a file. You could also use a number of different 
options here. So let's add the curved element, press enter. Now you see that we have a nice curved element that is on the back here. The last thing that we're going to do is now add some new data. So let's go to the 2023 new data, select that, press control C, and we go across to our data right to the bottom. Let's go there. And all we need to do is simply add the data. As you can see, it's dynamically added it to our table. We simply go to each country and each table and refresh it. So once we have refreshed our data, you will start to find the data dynamically in our sets of data. So just refresh that. Once we go across to our new dashboard, we will have now a 2023 data right here. And you can completely see that everything has become dynamic. So you don't need to do this process every single time. Finally, the way to share this. And for this feature, you have to make sure that you have a Microsoft 365. And that's the only way that you will be able to share it online simply go across to the share button here. And once you've clicked onto that, you find a share, you can copy the link, a link to sheet, and you can even manage access here. So for this, we are going to go to share. And now you have your dashboard tutorial. Look at the different options. There are many different options here. So we don't want everyone to edit this. And the first thing that we do is click that. And we are going to now change this not to edit but to view. Now you can add it to specific people. You can even add a password if you want. You can even send a copy if you don't want anyone to mess around with your data, or you can even make it into a PDF. So for here, we are just going to copy the link and share it with anybody that wants to view it. Copy the link here, creating a shareable link, and this can be used to copy and share it with everyone. This link is now available in the description below. So feel free to go there and have a look. I hope that you've learned something from this lesson today. And if you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.